Hey everybody. So I'm still technically supposed to be on like bed rest, but I have been dying to do a simple little activity and I don't want my oranges to go bad before I get around to it. So that's the only activity I'm going to do today. So I thought I'd just share it with you. I have been wanting to make like an orange dehydrated orange garland for years. So I finally found some really cheap oranges and we're going to do it. It's like the simplest thing ever. Hopefully I don't mess it up. But let's get to chopping and putting them on the pan and then we'll toss them in the oven. All right, it seems like there's not much to it. Except for I made this one extra fat. It's thin enough. It's said to just slice them as thin as you can. Then put them on a baking sheet with parchment paper. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, you need your oven at 250 degrees. And it says it'll take about three hours but to check them here and there in case some of them start burning and if that happens all you need to do is turn your oven temperature down a little bit in 25 degree increments so i think that should be fairly simple once the hard work of slicing them real thin is over you just gotta put them in the oven kind of leave it for a couple hours well, i think we're gonna do this just fine. So I am gonna do two full pans, however many I can fit on those two full pans. Mostly because I'm like out of parchment paper, right? <laughs> so we'll see how many it gets and then I will show you probably halfway through the process. And then when we're all the way done, because I am so excited, I wanna see how this turns out. I suppose if you do some thicker, they will just take a little bit longer to dry, right? So, I don't know if they can be touching or not. All right, well, we will be back when these are halfway done. So, while I'm doing this, Madison is slicing up some apples to make apple nachos. And with the no, parts... Or, what are you making? Something else. We got to wait and see. Oh. So she asked if she could make apple nachos, and I said yes, and now she's switching it up. Yes, if I can if you had apples. Oh, you just, oh, oh, well, we'll see what happens. Um, and with the core, and if she cuts off any of the peels, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. All right, all you need to do now is grab yourself a pot of some sort, small, medium, large. It's really your choice. You're going to dump all of your scraps. I have more scraps than I planned on because I sliced my finger pretty good. And I'm over it. <laughs> so, dump all of your scraps into a pot. Ah, oh, here comes some more apple stuff. So I'm gonna wait until she gets any apple scraps left, but we are gonna fill this up pretty good with water. I'm gonna sprinkle in just a tad bit of cinnamon, and we are gonna put this to simmer on like low on the stove top, and the house will smell heavenly. You try this with any of your fruit scraps, like apples, oranges i mean not bananas i don't know bananas are gross but i know with apples and oranges and i even have some cranberries i might toss in there and your house will smell so good and you're not wasting you're using it again it's something i super super love all right this doesn't look the prettiest but this and the oranges dehydrating the oven oh my gosh it smells just incredible in here so I'll show you the uh, oranges. It is the one hour mark. I put, I've switched the pans from the bottom to the top, kind of like that. There's some that are getting a little brown around the edges. I might take those out, but uh, I did turn the oven temperature down 25 degrees. So we will set it for another hour and come back and check on it and it should be done. All right, and here's what's left. Madison made Cinnadust coated apple fries. How did you cook them? Um, in the air fryer for about four minutes. And what temperature? Um, 350. 350. And they're perfect. They're very good. Very flavorful. You may want to cook it for, or put in the air fryer for like two extra minutes. So about six minutes in the air fryer. What, to get, what degree? 350. 350 for six minutes. They turned out pretty tasty. I would say give them a try. And I'm back in bed relaxing for the next two hours. All right, I am throwing together a quick dinner because Jake was gone at a funeral all day and 
got to eat around here. So I took a pound of ground beef. I seasoned it with some Kinder Steakhouse butter, Worcestershire sauce. And then when it was almost done, I dropped in a whole brick of cream cheese. And we have a massive bag of these like shredded hash browns. So I just kind of uh, poured them in there. Good them out. Then we are going to need a can of cream and chicken soup. And then once that's empty, fill it up with milk. And dump that in. And then some crisp, uh, the French onion soup mix. And then once we get this all combined, we are going to bake it for a little while. And then take it out and put some of the crispy fried onions on top. It's going to be delicious. I forgot to mention, I did season these potatoes. I did some steakhouse butter and a ton of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning powder just to give the potatoes some flavor because this, I don't know if this will have enough flavor to really soak it up, but there is all the other ingredients mixed in here. And now I'm just going to pour that on top of here. I believe the original recipe has cheddar, but I'm going to skip that today. All right, my orange slices are out of the oven. Some are a little crispier than others but they all feel pretty dry. Oh, there goes the oven. So I'm gonna let these cool for a while and then see what I'm gonna do with them. I'm exhausted because I had to make dinner too. So we will see. I'll probably get to them tomorrow, hopefully. Let me show you what the casserole looks like now. All right, looks kind of gross in the camera, but it is a pound of ground beef, cream cheese, cream and chicken soup, milk, seasonings, I say beef. Hash browns, also seasoned. And now I'm going to toss it into the oven to bake for about 15 minutes before we top it with the crispy fried onions. It's going to be delicious. All right, here is dinner. Jake made some steakhouse butter seasoned corn and the casserole. The crispies are under there. Got some of the hash browns. Jake tried white and he said it's delicious.